Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a game in my recently nerfed Kleber, going over the matchmaking. Uh, threats to the ship, we do have Stalingrad. Um, Henry could be an issue uh, if it's able to close with us. Uh, Rune has pretty flat trajectories, but pretty much this is a uh, pretty solid matchmaking for the ship. Now, this ship has been nerfed recently. This is my first game in her. Since the nerf, you can see the uh, changes to concealment and all that kind of stuff. So, is this ship now destined for the trash can? Well, let's find out. So, what I'm doing here, um, I've got a Shimakaze that he seems like he's not too interested pushing uh, decap. So, I am going to try to make a play to come up into uh, this little area here. See if I might be able to ambush a DD somewhere up around here. Um, and, you know, get some early spotting in. Uh, but mainly, I'm, I'm looking to ambush a destroyer. Get that uh, main battery reload booster off. And see if I can be productive. Also planning to, to dump torps right in here to uh, cover this this area of the cap. There's just in case uh, that DD wants to to try to push in this way. So that's basically what's going on in my head right now. I'm keeping this island in position so I can quickly disengage. do end up spotting the gearing a little bit of terraforming see if I can if I can hit him do get a reset there uh, and here just gonna push out there it looks to me like the the gearings hopping forward and this uh, if he does it again he's gonna give me a window of opportunity there he is. I went on ahead, popped reload booster. 13 hits, 21 hits. Twenty-six quick hits on uh, on that gearing. Uh, he looks like he's still burning, and uh, that's still so strong for for this ship that sudden burst and firepower um yeah it it you can just really lay a hurt on ships with this so looking at it right now i'm kind of in a a place where i don't like taking this dd i'm i'm in uh, congested island covered areas uh really i like to to have more open areas uh, but I do see things pushing in through here, so I'm trying to get some vision over here. This North Carolina's pushing. Uh, he's basically walled himself off in, against this island, so dumping torps on him and driving like a moron. You saw nothing. But obviously I don't want to be shooting or anything like that. I want to try to get out into this open water and then try to work on this Alaska a bit. Uh, Alaska is a ship that you typically can, can out-trade uh, reasonably well with uh, this build is... I haven't changed anything on my build. This still Concealment Expert, IFAG. Um, and, I mean, you're, gonna, you're still going to see why. I, the torpedoes, okay, I lost a... I lost a little bit of my, my stealth window, but I mean, I can still stealth torp things that are pushing into me. And really, with this ship speed, that's that's all you really need. Taking a look at that North Carolina, deciding I'm uh, going to keep trying to focus this Alaska.
Now, take a look at the uh, at the mini map. What's the situation here? Uh, the situation's pretty clear that uh, we're kind of up the creek without a paddle at the moment. Um, you know, Stalingrad, Henry, Alaska, Bismarck, North Carolina, there's a lot of stuff pushing right through here. We're not going to be able to hold decap. It's only this John Barton, this Moskva, and even worse, both of these guys are bowing. They're not going to be able to disengage, and that's that's telling me that very likely I'm going to end up in a situation where I'm going to have to run from this flank. Uh, taking a look at uh, the opposite side of the map, um, what do I got? I mean, I've got a Kagero that he's done a good job at least capping a cap, um, but. He's big time outnumbered. I mean, he's got, you know, the Ognavoy and Musashi up in there, the Rune, and look at his support. I mean, his supports, you know, can't even shoot the Musashi, can't shoot the Rune. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm anticipating bad things on ACAP. And, I mean, we do have a Hindenburg AFK, and our Shimakaze did detonate. So, uh, it's one of those situations that I'm, I'm starting to see a team come undone. And, uh, you know, this this is a game where uh, you can kind of see the snowball happen from my side. So I'm just going to keep doing my thing, and that's just dealing damage. We need to you know sort as many of these guys out as possible now I throw these torps out just in case this North Carolina starts to turn out but I'm just gonna drop these torps in again this North Carolina is still pushing up hard he's trying to get in on this Moskva who's finally started running for cover <clears throat> and I am just using my speed right now to basically escape the uh, the net that they're they're laying with this North Carolina the Stalingrad pushing up I don't want to get boxed in here I'm just gonna keep moving forward now our Yugumo pops up in a or the enemy Yugumo pops up in a odd position um, he's uh, probably went right up the center of the map and uh, you know huh if it, if it works for him, kudos, but that's not really a line that I would take. Arkagero does put down the Musashi. Uh, but, I mean, you take a look at the situation now, and you can you can really start to see that my team has, has really started collapsing. Uh, my Kagero's got booted out of ACAP with the rune pushing through. Uh, this Bismarck is basically pushing in there for some reason. I mean, a rune can bow tank you, so the rune can just push right in and torp you. You've got a Shimakaze and an Ognivoy. Both DDs have really good torpedoes and can just eat this thing apart. You know, you can't you can't push right here. This is you know definitely the sign that the snowball is well on its way down the down the mountain and uh, there's little I'm gonna be able to do to save this game uh, so I'm um, switching you know even further into you know damage farming mode gonna throw a set of torpedoes out here for this North Carolina just saw him slowing up there a bit just getting ready maybe I can catch him with some torpedoes there he did uh, uh, use DCP recently so I'm gonna push around this island pop uh, the main battery reload booster I'm gonna try to put him down as quick as I can got a fire on the back of his ship trying to hit the front of his ship get that fire going there's the second fire. Now I just want to keep focusing this guy. Unfortunately, don't land any torps. 
I want to make sure that I can put this guy down before he gets, you know, a repair off or anything like that. So, I know at this point he's probably done switching to the Stalingrad. Now, the Stalingrad, he's popped radar at this point, and that's going to open up a play for me. Um, just going to keep gunboating here. And what I'm trying to do, he's sailing sort of away from the Alaska. I want to encourage that. I want to get some separation between these two because... Um, I'm not going to be able to get around this Stalingrad if he turns turns south. So I'm not going to be able to, to get back north. So the only real option I have is either to kite back into the corner or go out like, like a rock star. So we're at 92 points right now. Um, just trying to... Uh, just really trying to see if I could if I could turn this corner I'm not re I'm running out of room not gonna be able to do it so Stalingrad's you know pushing south uh, he's gonna try to pinch me out so it's it's time just holding my course gonna go dark here uh, Stalingrad's radar is on cooldown, so there's little chance of me getting ambushed here. Holding my repair on the, uh, the rudder simply because I might need it to repair my torpedo tubes. But my plan here is to basically hit the Stalingrad with torps then roll right through and and hit the Alaska so the Alaska's closed distance with the Stalingrad more than I'd like uh, that's gonna be a factor in this I am using my main battery reload with AP now I'm using AP here I'm, I'm trying to force this Stalingrad into turning into me by turning into me he's basically sealing his fate the Alaska and the Stalingrad don't have uh, the DPM to put me down before I can get my torpedoes off. Now, if I die, I mean, this game's pretty much over. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. This is all about trying to get the, the best result you can out of the, the game. Um, so, a little bit of a, a juke there able to put down the uh, Stalingrad just getting the torpedoes out there for the Alaska maybe by some miracle uh, if I if I don't die those torpedoes will lit hit just slowing up here doing everything I can try to juke this shot that's coming unfortunately I'm just not able to torpedoes seconds away from putting down the Alaska and down I go so it's one of those situations teams falling apart you one ship is not going to be able to, to consistently hold everything together for for a team um, so the thing is what are you going to do about it I mean the big thing is don't panic you know keep your head in the game keep doing your job you know club air you're spotting you're dealing damage um, you know you you do what you can and uh, you know you just try to get the uh, you know at, at the end of the day if, if the team's just falling apart you get the most amount of damage the most rewards and everything uh, as possible yeah I'm, I'm really would like to pick up that Alaska that would have been really nice but just wasn't in the cards so what do I think about the ship with the nerfs frankly what nerfs uh, it's another case of war gaming not really touching what makes the ship you know so damn good and uh, you know 
she's uh, still going to be a staple in my port. Um, and uh, I, I do think that this ship is definitely worth the grind. Uh, I know there's people that they get frustrated with CVs, that kind of thing. Um, you know, in, instead of playing out by your own like I did this game, uh, you just gunboat more like a Russian boat, you know, closer to support. And, you know, that takes care of most of the issues that I've, I've, I've ever had with CVs. And, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much that. Uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them, be leave them below. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, hope you guys are having a good night, and I will talk to you later.